All right, I'm back with some more banner lord and we're going to be continuing the Yan Sheng series. So last time we did a bit of war profiteering. We set out with the aim of trying to earn money from war. We raided villages, we sold the goods, we sieged castles, we even cut down lords and ransomed them. And in the end, it was pretty much decided the best way to make money, smithing. <laughs> In terms of the war, the best way to make money was ransoming the lords, but it still does not compare to smithing. So I guess that being said, we're going to have to do some smithing on the side, see if we can slowly level up the stats and eventually earn some money from that. Because right now, our smithing is level 10. But that being said, we are still at war with the Rablam Kingdom. So while we're at war with them, I say we keep trying to profit. Oh, never mind, there has been a change of plans. We are now making peace with the Rablam Kingdom. The war is over. Didn't even get to do anything today. <laughs> Alright, well, since the war has come to an end and at the moment we have nothing else to do, this is the new plan. We are going to try and get some companions because I need to get some governors for my settlements. But not only that, but we need some companions as well to get ready for them to set up their own parties. And then I'm going to head to these settlements and I'm going to see what we can do with them. Can we build certain buildings that will increase taxes or something? Because while we're not at war, we need to minimize the amount of money we are losing. What is it with declaring war straight away, lads? We're already in another war. I didn't even make it anywhere near my settlement. And to top it all off, the people we just declared war on is the Yellow Kingdom here, which surrounds all of my land. Oh, why do we do this? Is the Yan Dynasty just a war-hungry empire? Is that what this is? The enemy are already sieging one of our castles with 300 men. That's not good. Alright, well, that castle is not going to hold out for much longer. The enemy are down to 180, so I think I'm going to attempt to engage them in combat. All right, men, this is it. There are four enemy lords. If we can capture all four of them, money. <laughs> Think of the money. Forget the fame. Forget saving the locals. Forget all that. It is all about the money. This isn't even my castle. All right, this is it, men. Our back's against the wall. We have nowhere else to go. Oh, no, the horse archers. The horse archers are coming. Our garrison is being cut down wherever was left of them. I'm sorry, lads. You should have run with me. You should have run with me. Alright, these horse archers are going to be a pain. They always are. There we go. That's one. And is that all we're going to get? We're just going to kill one of them. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> There we go, that's two. That's another one, lads. We're killing. We are killing them. Oh, there's even more coming. Where are you all coming from? And my accuracy is terrible. There we go, that's another one. And now the cavalry has hit us. Where did the cavalry come from? All right, men, just hold the line. Hold the line, men. The crossbows will provide firing cover. Don't you worry, men. Just have faith in the crossbows. I think the crossbows do pretty much decide if we win or lose this fight. The infantry can hold the line. That'll be great, but the crossbows have to provide cover and fire. There's still so many horse archers. How am I supposed to cut down all these archers, man? I'm trying to break up the infantry shield wall so it'll make it easier for the crossbows to shoot at them. The infantry have been hit by cavalry again. Alright infantry, attack, engage in combat men. Cut them down. 
Crossbows just keep firing, lads. It's all you can do. Don't worry about fighting close combat. Just fire away. All right, you know what? Maybe it's time we get off this horse. Reload the crossbow. Don't worry about the bannerman, lads. He's mine. There we go. The horse archers are back, being a pain as ever. Oh, we hit his shield. All right. Where are you, buddy? You're out there somewhere. We have a hit. There we go. That's another one. Come on, men. Just kill them. Just kill them. I'm going to send the crossbows in to just attack. The crossbows attack. Maybe they'll get a bit closer. The enemy ranged is just sitting back on that hill doing nothing. But overall, it looks like the fight has gone well. Um, we have taken a few casualties in the battle. But that is expected in war. And we get this one guy all the way over here. Okay, we tagged him up. That's something at least. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Here we go. Come on, man. Let's clean up here. We're pretty much done. It is just the odd bit of cavalry that's left. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> And we are done. The Golden Phoenix has won. We have secured the castle at the cost of 12 good men. You've got to be kidding me, lads. We secured the castle. We defeated the one army just for two more armies with 400 men each to show up. We can't stop that. What are we supposed to do against that? Oh, man, we're just going to have to run and retreat, lads. We have no other choice. The castle is going to fall anyway. Did our defense make any difference? It was always doomed from the beginning. I just realized we are paying over a thousand a day in tribute payments. Why are we paying some kingdoms so much? We're paying these 3,000 a day, these 1,200 a day. What is going on? You know, I think it might be time. It might be time for us to split from the Yan Dynasty and start looking after our own kingdom. Maybe we can get a bit of a profit if we rule our own land and I'm not paying other people over a thousand a day. But we're going to need the companions. That's all we need. We need companions to rule their own armies. And we might be able to split from the Yan Dynasty. It might be a brutal civil war and our kingdom could fall. I reckon we can do it, lads. Right? <laughs> All you need is a can-do attitude. All right, we have done it. I have picked up two companions to lead their own armies. We have the Tyrant Tiger. He is going to lead his own army. Good luck to you, my friend. I'm not giving you any men. This is a sink-or-swim world, my friend. Either you die trying or you come out great. I'm not going to give you a head start. And then we have our other companion leading their army. All right, we have an enemy here who is trying to raid one of our villages. We're going to attempt to take them out. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. I'm not allowing an AI army to take credit for this. You are going to get taken prisoner, my friend. That is your punishment for getting involved in this fight. <laughs> we just watched as one of our own men got taken prisoner, all because I don't like sharing. But here is the plan for now. We're going to keep up the fight and we need to keep profiting. I need to keep building those funds. But while our companions are building their own armies, we will then turn on the Yan Dynasty. We have no choice. It is costing us too much money. And if we keep assisting them with the way we are, they will become too big. We have already taken three settlements in the north. And that's what they've awarded us. Think of all the other land we've taken that hasn't come to the Golden Phoenix. We're expanding too much and it's just going to become too hard to eventually take them down in a civil war. 
Well, I say it's going to become too hard. I mean, it's already going to be hard to take them down. I'm pretty sure there's over one and a half thousand of them here sieging this castle. So that's fun. <laughs> Imagine declaring war on them right now. It won't end well. But either way, we are going to take out this lord to defend our village. All right, men, you know the drill. Just hold the line and all shall be good. We learnt a new crossbow ability, so now I can reload any crossbow on any horse. There are a couple horse archers coming our way. Only four, though. Come on, men. There's 60 of you firing. Surely 60 of you shooting, you can kill him. Come on. There we go. All right. Well, it looks like the enemy have no interest in coming for us. So we're going to have to go hunting lands. There they are, just huddled in a ball over there. I don't think my crossbow can quite reach. Not too sure, to be honest with you, lads. Is my accuracy bad or uh, my crossbow can't reach them? Oh, we hit something. <laughs> it's firing at the recruits, why not? Rapid fire some bolts up and over. Once the crossbowmen get here, they're going to have a field day. This is probably going to be the easiest army they're ever going to take out. Oh, and the crossbows have arrived. All right, come on, lads. Nice green kill feed. Let's get this over and done with. They look like they're mostly recruits, to be honest. Reversing an army of rookies. I don't know how close those archers want to get. <laughs> Any closer, lads, you'll be right in front of us. And we're pretty much done. Just clean up, lads. We are literally done here. How did I miss that? What is going on with this sword? I hit absolutely nothing with this sword. There we go. Right, we actually killed someone with this sword. We didn't lose a single man. That is what I like to see. As mentioned at the start of the video, to make money, we need to smith. So now it is time to begin our smithing grind. Along our journey, I have been stopping at the nearby villages collecting wood. So we have a decent bit of wood to get us started. And now the grind begins. <laughs> We're already level 16, which is great. Only a hundred or so more levels to go before we can at least craft some decent weapons and earn a bit of money. Alright, well we have had to put the smithing on hold for now because we've run into a bit of an issue. The enemy are on the move and the only castles to the north over here is mine. Oh man, are they really going to try and siege my land? Well it looks like the enemy are going ahead with the siege. There are 400 defenders against 800 attackers. I don't know if any more enemy lords will show up and join the army. But if we can get some siege defenses built in time, I can't see 800 of them being a problem, to be honest with you. We got our lucky ballista on the wall there, which is great. I love a good ballista during a siege defense, lads. I'd much rather a ballista over a catapult. And they have attacked. They are not hanging around. They have got a battering ram and that is it. We have two catapults and a ballista. Compared to the last siege defense where we got absolutely slaughtered, where there was a thousand attackers and only 200 defenders, I think this one is going to go a lot better. It should be a pretty straightforward defense, but we will have to see. All right, men, man the walls. I want to see every man, woman, and child in this settlement up on the wall with a crossbow in hand. No one gets to hide. We have to hold our land. This isn't just the Yan Dynasty territory, lads. This is the Golden Phoenix's settlement. We can't hold our own land. How are we ever going to take over the Yan Dynasty? All right, we got a solid hit to start. That is great. If we can break the battering ram, 
This battle is over. We're just going to keep using the ballista here. Hopefully we can rack up a good amount of multi-kills. That's what we need. Well, this is awkward. All the archers have got right in front of me. What's going on? I can't fire my ballista, lads. The archers, there's too many and they're too close. Back off. They heard I was going to be on the ballista and now they put a stop to it. <laughs> oh, they're shooting us off the walls. What is going on? The enemy are tearing us apart, lads. We might have been outplayed. The battering ram is gone, which is great. But it does mean the ladders are going to be uh, used soon. They're coming. They are coming, men. Alright. Brace for impact, lads. Brace for impact. We have to stop them from entering this castle. All right, come on, buddy. You want to climb the ladder? Well, we are going to send you straight back out. Okay, the lads are going to send you straight back out because they've all blocked my way. Men, what are you doing? You're learning them in the castle. I had this under control. You just left this to me and didn't block me. It would have been fine. All right, we just got to keep pushing them outside the castle. That's that's all we can do, really. The longer we can hold them here, the better. We can't allow them to run along the walls. Because they're just going to start attacking us from behind, as you can see. And it's not going to go well. I don't know how the other side's holding and I don't really want to go check because I know if I walk behind the men there, I'm going to fall off the wall and die. Alright, that's it. There we go. Get them out of the castle. All right, we're in a good position now, lads. We're in a good position. I don't know how the other side is holding, as I said. But now that we have this one ladder under control, should be able to put a stop to them coming in. Come on, keep climbing the ladder. Climb to your death, man. That's it. And a chop. <laughs> and a chop. Oh, we missed that one. Hang on, he looks like a member of the Yan Dynasty. Dead now. Alright, who's next? You, alright, there you go. And another one. There you go. <laughs> we are just going to have to sit here until the reinforcements stop. And we've cut them all down. So it's going to be a little while, lads. Uh, so bear with me while we just uh, chop away here. The kill feed is still looking pretty green, so as far as I know, the castle is holding. We haven't run into any troubles yet. We are having the odd man die, but hold on. The enemy are retreating. We have one. That was it, lads. The enemy are in a full retreat. The golden phoenix has held the castle. That's it. Run away. Oh, are they running back? Oh, this isn't good. We taunted them and now they're coming back. Where's my ballista? I'll send them running. Watch out for there, buddy. Don't fire that bolt. Ah, oh, you fired the bolt. Can we turn it far enough? We can. All right, let's get a nice shot lined up here. 
And we hit a single man. <laughs> Poor guy. The enemy seem to be fully regrouping and going for the left side. So I don't know what happened over there, but it's a bit concerning. Still got the catapults firing, so we know they're not in the castle at least. But why are you all regrouping and going to this side over there? Look, you can see them all just gathering. Right, you know what? We're going to head on over, lads. I'm going to find some rocks and I'm going to get throwing, I think. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. A nice rock. Can we get a good angle on the enemy? Oh, we can. <laughs> all right. And pop. Nice. Just throw a couple of these and the enemy should soon be running once again. We have plenty of infantry here, so I don't think they're going to breach anytime soon. Have they nerfed the rocks since I last used them? It seems to kill one man and weaken everyone else. You used to be able to get multi-kills with these rocks. They seem a bit nerfed now, lads, I won't lie. What have tail worlds done to my rocks? Oh, lads, what are you doing out there? No, the lads have run outside the front gate or something. Ah, you know what? Why not, lads? Why not? Let's just attack. Come on, men. This is just going to go terrible, isn't it? And I'm going to get all the men killed. Oh, no. Never mind. The men have sent them running. Okay, I think it's actually over now. I don't think that... Yep, we've collected our resources. That is a sign the battle is over. We lost 61 men, but out of that 61, only three were belonging to my party. Everyone else was the garrison or militia. Fair enough. And now we get to enjoy the battle loot. 30,000 in prisoners, which is great. Another 12,000 in battle loot. The battle loot is a little lower than it should be because I'm not selling the, all these weapons because I want to smelt them down as part of our smithing. Speaking of smithing, lads, we got to get back on that grind. Come on, smelt down these weapons. We got to smelt them all. We're up to level 37 smithing. Alright, so we have built up a decent bit of funds from defending that castle, as well as defending our villages around the area. So overall, it is looking pretty good for us. In terms of our companions, they're very slowly building their armies, but they're really not doing much at all, to be honest with you. They're both just hiding in the settlement down here. I'm not entirely sure what they're waiting for. Alright, so I think this is the plan for next time. We're going to wait for our companions to do some recruiting and both of them fill their parties. Once their parties are full, the clan will have about 350 men to call upon. We are also pretty close to clan tier 4, although the bar is a bit misleading because that little chunk we're missing there is 140 renown, which isn't the easiest thing to get. So maybe we wait until we hit tier 4, wait for the companions to recruit, because once we hit tier 4, we can have an additional party as well. So I think that's the plan. Reach tier 4, recruit another companion, wait for them to fill it up, and then the civil war begins. We aren't going to get any more prepared than that, so I guess we get the civil war over and done with. Either it will be brutal or fight to the death, Maybe we'll get slaughtered. Maybe we'll do the slaughter in. Who knows? But either way, we have to start it soon-ish because we can't allow the Yan Dynasty to keep expanding like they are. But that is going to be it for this part of the Yan Sheng series. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.